just showing you how to build these different layouts. Now, if this was a surfboard, which would be neat, is this would be the stringer, and then your tongue might be coming out there. This is more just the idea. So head, line of action, you know, getting your arms in there. You know, you can have your claws. Claws are kind of cool. You kind of, I'll do a close up of a claw. Um, you just imagine like little stick figures, like that's one finger, another finger, another finger, and then maybe it comes down and has a, another finger like this. Hey, excuse me, Drew? Uh, yeah, can you put your questions in the chat? With yeah, but everybody, if you can put your questions in the chat, what we want to do is just get to everybody. We'll, we'll bring you on a share in about 20 minutes or so, but if you have a question right now, write it in the chat and I'll relay it to Drew for you. So otherwise what happens is we have like 20 people trying to talk at once. So it's just really helpful if everybody just stays muted yeah. for now. Otherwise it, it's hard for Drew to focus. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but what I'm just trying to show you is, you know, there's lots of ways to do this. So we could, you know, like in the one, let's start another one. And, you know, the line of action, like I had on that one loss board was a, he was sitting up. So I would have my head, let's say, I'll try to draw bigger. So my head and then his body. And then let's say he's kind of like standing. So you see this, this would be his body's outline, the, the line of action as Damien always says, which I love that word. I never knew how to describe it. But that's almost like the posture of the dragon or the posture of a person. And, you know, all the dragons I've seen in the world, they're all subtly different. There's no wrong way to do this. Um, I want you to have fun with it. You might create one that's just totally your own. But then from there, you would do the rest of the body. Is he fat? Is he skinny? I mean, we could do a fat dragon. You know, let's say he's like this and he's got this tail. And then you're like, oh, what does his legs look like? So he's got like, let's say, you know, some type of leg like that. And then, so there would be another leg on the other side. And so this is really loose, you guys. Um, just being able to play with it with a, th a thin line or a light line, let's say. There's another little arm. And look, he's going to be doing a shaka. But this is just really loose. I know that, you know, it's kind of, uh, you're watching me just paint this fast or draw this fast, but I just really want you to get that feeling of playing with it and draw this character. That's just something that you think is fun. So there from this thing, then you kind of go back to that first thing I did, which was the head, which all the attitudes is, is really in the face and the head of the, of the dragon. So you know, we got the top of the head. Let's say this is that line that, that bisects the top of the, the head. And let's say his eyes are way up here. So I'm going to switch to the red pen so you can see it. So now he's kind of looking more like a dinosaur, which a dinosaur would be kind of a type of a dragon. So we got these eyes that are kind of like this. And then I'm going to put like some snout. We know that it's on either side. Whoop. Some, for some reason, your video is on. Uh, it's uh, for some reason it's blurry. I don't know why. That's why I'm switching back and forth trying to. I'm not sure. Let me try something. Oh, now it's good. I don't know what happened. Yeah, now it's good. Hmm. Okay. okay. Maybe that's Carry why. On. All right, everybody see that good? There we go. Yes. But you can see this line right here kind of bisects it. So you put an eye on either side, a nose, and then you just kind of connect the dots. And let's say he's going to just have these like, like a crazy teeth. Maybe he's going to have like crazy ears like this. But this is just where you have fun with it, right? And maybe his mouth's just open a little bit. So I'm going to do his bottom jaw. And maybe he has like little horns going on up his back and down his back like this. 
but you can see how you could dress them up from there the whole time, you know, all the way through. Now this is just, they're again, super loose. You could put like spikes on his tail. And a lot of times I had fire going down the backs of mine. Um, let's see, I got another piece of paper here. All right, anybody, I know we have some questions out there. It sounds like we had a lot of kids in there who are um, not sure what to do, but everybody should just be practicing sketching. I mean, that's really the, uh, the exercise today is uh, practicing sketching. So I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna try a little harder on this one. And maybe this one, now that you kind of have the idea um, of what I'm doing, uh, we'll, this will be one that maybe you can copy the best. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start out with an oval. And that's a pretty big oval. And then I'm gonna just do a line of action. So I'm just kind of making this up. I'm not really um, trying to create anything other than a nice organic line. So you could do some kind of organic line. Now, from there, I'm gonna do the bottom of the line. So that makes up his body. And the, the, you know, these lines really decide on whether it's a fat dragon, a skinny dragon, a long dragon, a, you know, short, whatever. Um, so then we have that. So then I'm gonna go back to my head and I'm gonna bisect it. So by bisecting that kind of shows you where that halfway point is on the head. I'm gonna put a line across there, which is kind of showing where the eyes are gonna be. And then I could actually put a, a line there showing where the nose is gonna be. And then I could kind of go like that. That kind of shows where the, the mouth is, right? I'm gonna open his mouth like I did on the first one. I'm gonna make it really exaggerated. Like he's super far open. So this is coming down and then out like that. You see that? So, it's almost just like a little opened area. I'm gonna make his, this is his jaw right here. And this is just setting it up. This whole thing is just setting it up and having fun and just seeing what I get. And so I'm gonna do two eyes. The two eyes are gonna be up here. He's looking crazy already. This one looks totally different than anything I've ever done. His nose. I love it. Well, the good thing about making it up, especially while you're sketching, is you come up with a lot of variations and you see what works and what doesn't work. And so, you know, right now I'm kind of just going through these motions and adding lines and then whatever I do to one side, I kind of do it to the other side. Now I'm going to kind of, I'm going to, I like fire. So I'm going to make it like he's got like these fiery eyebrows, something like that. And then right down the center, his back. Now, one of the cool things is um, instead of his arm being up here, I want to put it down here. Like he's got a really long neck. And I'm going to do his claws are going to be something like that. He's got really big claws. And then this one's kind of going out over there. And I'm going to do that smaller, like it's reaching out in the distance behind it, something like that. And the same thing. And I might make him a little fatter. <laughs> See, there's no rules. So he's just going to come together. So now I did, this would be like my, my map. So I did this rough sketch. And no matter what you came up with, it kind of gives you an idea of where everything is. And then you can come back with either a, a darker pencil or in my case, a, a different color pen and I, I'm gonna dress it up. All right. So I'm gonna start with the eyes cause the eyes really kind of are fun. And they're just like little ovals right now. And I'm adding like a, a little bit of texture to them making them a little angrier. This is like my little 
the little eyebrow flame uh, thing coming off the top. In Chinese dragons, they seem like they have a lot of stuff like this, of flames. That's why they think that they were um, associated with comets. So I'm going to do a, his nose. And so all I'm doing is going around and just reanalyzing what I drew, what it looks like, and whether I like it or not. And I kind of like this. It's a little different than anything I've ever done, but that's his mouth. And I'm going to go ahead and add teeth. So teeth really change it a lot. He looks like he's kind of yeah, uh, toothless, which he is. But once I add teeth, you could do like really fat teeth like that or really skinny teeth. Um, sometimes it's good with a variation. So I got a couple skinny teeth, a couple big teeth. Maybe every once in a while I'll have a skinny one, something like that. And then I'm gonna make his jaw come out a little bit more. So somewhere out here. And usually the teeth face in, like so if it bites down that it can't escape. That's one thing I've noticed about, you know, with fishing and, you know, looking at different animals teeth that they usually uh, face in so that when they bite into something, it, it can't get away. Oh, this is a fat dragon, well fed. Jojo asked if you could go back to the first dragon. So when you get a chance, if you could do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can show that in just a second. So this is that line that's along his back. And what's cool about this, if we were going to have like a bending um, dragon, this line on his back would change and alternate. So if I was doing like circles, you know, a, a coiled up like serpent like dragon, this would really allow you to control what, what that looks like and show that it's coiled up due to the fact that you bisected it with this, you know, mane of of material here. Um, I usually have like on a snake, it has its belly that's like um, different than the scales on its side. So it's usually like this um, pattern of scales on the bottom that really create this like belly, um, the bottom part of a, of a reptile. So that would be different pattern than maybe its scales. So there's different ways to do scales you could just go like this and create like a checkerboard like this with your pencil. And then you just create these shapes right out of that. You know, you could do that. That's a good way to do scales. Another way is just to scallop them like this. Um, and sometimes this is better because you can do big ones and small ones, which more look a little bit more uh, natural, but either way works. The way I like this is sometimes when you wrap it around, so I'm gonna do it with blue. Um, like say if I did this pattern, that then from there, you could use that pattern. Um, so you see that blue pattern, then you can come around and kind of do this. And it wraps to the that that shape, if you see what I mean. Now there again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The more effort you put into this, and the more practice, um, you kind of figure out things that work a little better. But you can kind of get this idea of then you kind of go back of it, and you have this pattern. And um, scales can be really cool. One of the neat things about Posca that I discovered with this is when I broke this down into shapes and I worried about one scale at a time, I could really control how that looked. I'm going to go back to the book and then I'll go back to that first drawing. Um, let me find that picture of now, if you can see this dragon and you see how those scales were really kind of like just little shapes, but it created a nice little um, scale effect or like armored effect of the dragon. 
and I did this dragon, you know, 20 something years ago. So it's not my best. It's not my worst. It's just a, an example of this technique of building something and having fun with it. All right. So let me go back to this other first head of the dragon. It's um, it's 437. We have quite a few people that want to share. When do you want to start doing that right now and come back? Yeah, I think, I, I, I think that's great. Let me just uh, kind of go over this. So this is where we started is just kind of showing the head and being able to, you know, create this um, kind of that focal point, which is the head. And then the next thing other than the head is that line of action. So, you know, whether you're doing this kind of thing or you're doing something along a surfboard or more serpent snake one, or whether it's sitting up, there's really no wrong answer. Um, it's just, it's just practicing on your sketchbook and, and trying to figure out what it is that you, you like. And, um, you know, if you find something you don't like, you're like, okay, this isn't good. You can erase. Um, let me do this little claw real quick. And I like making the claws like really big and they're almost like kind of like bird claws when I do them like that. And I usually put one on the back. Now you could do four, like when you're doing cartoon stuff, it's like kind of like four, but if you want to be accurate, you'd put five. Um, and then on the scales on that, you'd kind of like do a little miniature version of, you know, what you did with the, with the body and do something like that. And then you could, from that pattern, tighten it up and do these circles or these scaly shapes. If everybody, is everybody kind of getting that? It is so fun drawing these like mythical creatures. And I can't, I can well, I can imagine that like when people started drawing these at first, they were probably just like these little shapes. And then they started putting, you know, more personality to them. And the next thing you knew, they just grew into these characters. And I bet you this happened very organically as creative people were trying to depict something they probably saw or they found, whether they found the skull of a dinosaur, or whether they saw this shape in the sky, um, or maybe they actually saw one of these creatures, or like me, maybe they saw an alligator and they were trying to depict, you know, what that was. So uh, why don't we uh, kind of see what people are working on and um, answer some questions. I'll keep drawing and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, and before we before we move on, I have a special request for those of you who have joined us for many of these paint parties. I wanted to ask you to do something for us in the next few minutes. I would love it if you would write in the chat one thing that you've gotten out of these paint parties with us. That would be so helpful for us if you would do that. And um, now we're gonna go to Helen. And after Helen, we're gonna go to Kali and Jody. So I am gonna spotlight Helen right now. Hey, hey. Helen. Hello, how are Hello. you? Good. Yeah, good, thanks. So I suppose the first thing that I've learned is how to paint. So I found your paint parties back in June. And I just wanted to tell you how far I'd come. Um, I haven't finished it. It's work in progress. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my oh, God. That's amazing. That lighthouse is off the hook. And then the hearts and the sky and the dancing dolphins. That's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm also trying to go around the edges as well. So, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Down oh. here, I need something more. Maybe some, I don't know. Bubbles or seaweed or something. Yeah, more bubbles or you know, even who knows? It looks like you're off to the races. I think anything you do will look great. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm so impressed. So uh you learned all yeah. that since June? Yeah, that's from you. Right. Yeah, I've never painted before. So yeah, thanks. I can't even believe that. Well, well, great wow. job. Um, <laughs> Hopefully um, this dragon uh, lesson today is, is helping on just your drawing skills and setting yourself free. And um, yeah. you, you have my permission just to have fun. 
<laughs> Thanks. Thanks for bye sharing. Yeah, thank I, you, Helen. We're thank gonna you. pop over and say hi to Callie, the winner of last week's Posca paint pens. You got your your paint pens in the mail, Callie? Yeah, three days ago. Awesome. Wow, congratulations. Show us what you're working on. I have a few things. This is just the one I'm working on right now. Whoa, look at that. That is great, Callie. See, I like how you're, you really did a good job of his tail. Looks like he's going off into space or something. <laughs> yeah, and I love how you just jumped right in and got it done. See, that I think that's what's great about these paint parties is you have to jump in or you're going to get left behind. So most people just jump right in. Wow, look at this. And then my grandma, when when she was younger, she made a bunch of wood things and she never painted them. So then she gave us things. So then I painted a bunch of them. That is good. Love it. All with Bosco pens? Yeah. Oh, wow. Good and job. This. Oh, cool. <laughs> Well, it sure does look like you're having a lot of fun, and that's the whole point of these Posca paint parties. Yep. Thank you. I ornament thing. Yeah. Rudolph. What's this? That's Rudolph and then a snowman. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so good. Your mom better watch out. You're going to start painting the walls. Yeah. <laughs> that is so great. Thank you for sharing all Thank that. Thank you. And congratulations on winning the pens. Enjoy. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to hop over and say hi to Jody. Jody. Hi, everybody. Hey, Jody. Hi. Hello. Well, um, Are, this is my, my dragon so far. <laughs> oh, wow. Yours is like a pretty dragon. Yeah, I'm a girly. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I could paint a pretty dragon if I had to. I did find some paper, though. It's... um. It's called Yepo paper, and it's like really, um, you don't have to Yepo. treat it or anything. Yeah, um, it's, it's like a little slicker. Yeah, yeah, it's pricey, but it really works really well. Yeah. But I, um, this is what I've been making with the postcards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my dog Bob and his stuffed animal. That's awesome. Yeah, I love seeing what everybody's doing. Wow, look at that, yeah. And is that, what's that on a, on wood or is that like acrylic? It, it, it's a wood cutout of a she, of a conch shell. And so I painted it with Posca and sprayed and it a couple times. Then I did the um, acrylic pour on top of it. The resin, yeah. yeah. Wow, that looks like, it looks amazing. Thank you. Awesome. That, that's a lot of steps. So how's things in Hawaii, everything's good? Everything's good. We're getting ready to go back to California for Thanksgiving to be with my mom. It'll be our first uh, holiday uh, without my dad. So I'm um, going to be there with her. But um, I just want to say thank you, Drew. I mean, you have um, really challenged uh, me as an artist just to really think out of the box of what my normal um, tendency to, is to how to paint my normal um, style. Yeah. And um, you really um, pushed my uh, imagination and be able to like draw what um and paint what the things that i think of good i love it i love that push my imagination yeah set your imagination free yes yeah that's definitely what these classes have done and so thanks it, i really appreciate it yeah thanks, well enjoy the holidays good seeing you that's so nice um yeah, I'm just sitting here doodling on mine. So if we want to see somebody, anybody else wants yeah. to see? Yeah, we've got a few more. And I just wanted to say, you know, a lot of people are writing in the comments and I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of people are sharing what they've learned. And um, thank you for that. It's really helpful for us to know what people are getting out of it. Okay, so then we're going to go. So next, we're going to go to Allie. I'm just letting everybody know. So you're ready to show your work. Oh, wait a minute. I think Allie's gone now. So, oh, okay. We lost Allie. So we're going to go to Jocelyn, then CJ, then Cinnamon, then Rocco. All right. And um, it's 12 minutes to the hour. So what? We're gonna, I know, I don't know where the time went. So we're gonna move kind of quickly. I know we always say that and then you never listen to me, but we're gonna try. All yeah. right, <laughs> we're coming to Jocelyn right now. Hi. Hey, Jocelyn. Hi. 
Hey. Show us your work. Oh, look at that. You got like a, a little sea serpent. Is that wings on his back or what is it? It's wings. His little wings. And is he, he's a happy, he's a happy dragon, huh? I don't really know. I just try to just. Is he is he breathing fire? It looks like he's breathing fire. Yeah. Yeah. My name was Allie. I changed it though. Uh, oh, yeah. you were Allie. Okay. Okay. Good. Now the the mystery of Allie is now solved. Yeah. It looks like you have a dragon on your head. <laughs> you know, on your little. Yeah. Little sprout. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. Yeah, All right. Now we're gonna go time. over. We're gonna go over to Japan now and say hi to CJ. Oh, hi. CJ. You're in Dragonland so, there. <laughs> I am in Dragonland. I would normally never do one of these, but I wanted to share when we first started these parties, I did not ever choose to do commissions because I didn't have the confidence to do it. And I finished this commission yesterday. Oh, wow. Look at wow. that. The great way so, of Kanagawa. Yeah. So you guys have really pushed me to get outside of my comfort zone. And now I can at least accept commissions and feel a little bit more comfortable with it. So I thank you guys so much for sharing your information, your knowledge. Maria, your book is amazing. Drew, your artwork is fantastic. Uh -huh. So keep doing what you guys are doing. Thanks, thank CJ. You. Really appreciate it. Yeah. God, that was great. You know, it's just everybody's work is just so there's cinnamon. Popped over to cinnamon pretty quick. I told you I'm moving fast. Uh, uh, this is mine so far. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is cool. I've made mine a silly long skinny dragon. Yeah. Well, so did it help that I, I wasn't so specific and was just kind of showing you shapes and things like that? <laughs> yeah, that helped quite a bit. I love these paint parties because I got to spend more time with my mum and learned a lot more techniques instead of just drawing my same, same characters over and over again. And I'll show you my mum's. This is my mom's one. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is cool. Oh Having trouble with the feet. <laughs> the feet. Yeah, the feet, feet and hands are usually tough. We need to get Damien to do a whole feet and hands class. I love this one. <laughs> yeah, and we've actually talked to him about doing that, and he is keen to do it. Yeah. Um, it's just we got to get it on the schedule for us all to get together and film it. All yeah. right. Well, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. That is great. Cinnamon always does a great job. Um, okay. And then in a minute, we're going to go to Von Scorpion and then Rocco. And um, let me see. I'm going to, did somebody ask a question in the chat and um, I'm trying to find it now. If you asked a question and I didn't answer it, can you ask it again? Um, because somehow I've lost it. So you can see on mine, I put this uh, little spike on the end of the tail. You see that a lot in dragons. And, and it's just interesting, the whole dragon like mythology, you know, the knights slaying dragons and things like that. Um, I'm just wondering where they got all this from. Was it their imagination? Was it something they, they were actually seeing? Or is it more... Uh, symbolistic that the dragon represents adversity or something you know i just always wonder let me see mine so if i was going to start to color that now like if this was my sketch i would still only use like let's just say like normally i would do this in pencil this would still be my underlying sketch and then i could broaden it out from there i i could just use it as this little map I don't necessarily have to follow the map. I can change things. I can decide to do something different, but uh, that's kind of what this is going for. I'm gonna do some black around it so it pops him off of here. But al allowing yourself the freedom just to go for it and create and break some of the rules and not be so uh, tight, you know, like you're copying a picture but creating your own character and your own style and your um and, and allowing yourself to go with it is really kind of what i'm pushing for here um because that's how i learned i i i would like to have gone to school and i would like to um you know learn from some really uh great artists but really i just 
was left with a sketchbook and a piece of paper and um, my own imagination and my own uh, memory of things that I saw. And that led me to exploration. And that exploration really um, allowed me to draw anything at any time without even references a lot of times. So it's, I've been reading through all the comments in the chat and thank you everyone. I can't read them all because there's so many of them, but there's been a common theme and that is that these paint parties, number one, have helped a lot of people gain confidence. And then the second thing was, it was like a therapy during this interesting, <laughs> interesting 2020 year. Um, okay, so we have a lot of people that want to share. We're going to go to Von Scorpion, then yeah. Rocco, then uh, we also have John. We'll go to John, then Tessa, then Shireen. And I'm going to move quickly so that everybody gets a chance. Um, let's see. Let's see. Take me a second. Okay, Von Scorpion, here we come. Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, guys. Oh, look at that. That is cool. He's kind of... Um, Love it. Might be kind of dark in the background, but no, I can see it. That's really I like the web. Is you know that's one thing uh, that webbiness on his head a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Let me you see know, if I got something darker. I probably got something darker around here. <laughs> well, we can see it. Okay, but you know, yeah. every, every, everybody everybody can, can see that webbiness that's around his head. And so you could add that within the, the hands or whatnot, you know, when you, especially when you got like some kind of sea serpent, uh, aquatic serpent, you know, adding that kind of stuff really helps. Sometimes they have like, um, like almost like fish fins coming off of them too. Right. Yeah. So wh what did you like most about all the paint parties? Um, jumping into different subjects that we're not used to. Um, getting over your initial fear of, oh, I can't draw feet or I can't draw hands. And heck, heck will, will, you, will you, what do you have to lose? You just do it. Yeah. So, and seeing everyone from, from the little, the little kids, kids start, start doing the best they can to some of the people that are just super amazing and yeah. everyone's doing the best they can. And no one's, everyone's being about it. Yeah, and everybody's doing a good job. I mean, that's what's yeah. I mean, I, I showed everybody my early dragon sketches, and a lot of these kids are doing better than I was doing when I was their age. So it's um it's it's nice to, that we all be together and you know, I never thought this would have worked so well. Yeah, and everyone's just chill with each other, everyone's complimenting, um, giving everyone praise, and in a world that is so brutal on things yeah it's nice to see everyone um so caring and just patient and giving and yeah encouraging thank encouraging. you yeah. yeah yeah you said it so well thank you yeah it was and, awesome and i can't wait till drew paints those surfboards he said i know I, it's yeah. gonna happen it just <laughs> probably not oh, he's busy. January. he's pretty <laughs> up right now but she's working me to death over i'm here. working him to death hey you got to make money somehow right yeah <laughs> all right, right so we're gonna hop right. over say hi to rocco Thank you. thanks rocco what's happening man well, i'm just out here freezing in west virginia it's getting cold <laughs> ski season so i'll make it short and fast um i know you're busy here's you can see it oh yeah look at yours yours looks good it's just pencil but I just, uh, I don't know if you can get, if that's better. Yeah, no, it looks good. You know, he has that same face that mine does, kind of like a, almost like a fat lion face, I feel like ours looks like. <laughs> I wish mine looked like yours, but I'm, I'm trying to have a good time. That's all that matters. And real quick, here's my, I hate to say it, I don't, I don't know what it's called from last time. Oh, the, the Hopi Indian, the Sun Kachina. That looks awesome. Yeah, I like how you electrified the background. But um, anyway, um, yeah, what um, the last gentleman was saying, you know, try to make it short and sweet, but um, you're doing a lot more than 
and you might know for people because we're in a tough time and uh, for the adults out here. And anyway, the kids, uh, I like seeing the kids and uh, the inspiration and them taking the interest. But you just hit on something a minute ago that I thought kind of hit the point when you said you was left with a sketch pad and a pencil when you was a kid. So that beats the heck out of a cell phone and a video game. So, you know, I was left with the uh, some puzzles. I still like doing puzzles, and I was left with the – thank God I was left with a guitar. <laughs> and yeah. I just bought Les Paul the other day, so I'm going to be playing it after I get off here. But, uh, you know, I see you play too, and I like the like catching you playing there a little bit. But anyway, uh, it's been – I'm, I'm going to miss it, and y'all have a uh, super awesome uh, holidays, and hopefully you get to spend some time with your families. And yeah. peace out, man. Yeah. Thanks. Thank we'll, you. We'll be back. We'll be back. Thanks. Um, we're going to go over to John. Sorry, John. I should have given you some uh, at least a second notice. That's a right. one second notice. <laughs> oh yeah, look at look at that one. I uh, I went with the uh, uh, you know the the Kenneth Graham story, the Reluctant Dragon. Yeah. Uh, it's illustrated by the guy that did uh, the Winnie the Pooh drawings, Ern Ernest Shepherd, and uh, oh he, yeah, he took took one of the one of the scenes from that and kind of put him on a beach with uh, my my grandson and his frank fat grandfather there. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, you know, there's there's so many like cool like when you think of all the children's books and those children's illustrators, man, what a great art that was. That that's a good point, John. Like the. The, you know those uh what was the there's the pup the magic dragon and then like where the wild things are i know those guys weren't dragons but man those were some crazy mm -hmm. drawings yeah neat, neat stories neat stuff yeah and then um kind of like to put a little bit of your vibe on some of that and uh it, steal, steal from steal from you steal from them make yeah them well it's just adding to it all right it's all <laughs> one continuous story all right we're gonna hop over and say hi to tessa Tessa, if you're ready for us, show us what you're working on. Hi. Hey. There we go. Look at that oh. big tip. Wow, look at that. Big I love that. Pens. I love that style of that, like those bold colors. Wow, look at is that mom too? Mom's crushing it. That's mom. I'm crushing it. Yeah. God, you girls doing a great job. So we where are so you so much fun doing these with you? Yeah. And where are you guys joining us again from? Oregon. We're all right on. Man, I like, I like, like both of your, your guys, are, they're like totally different, but that same color, like that just spot color, which is like something I don't do. And I, I like it so much because it's, um, can you slide over your green one more so I can see it? I keep, there we go. Yeah. Wow. Good. I'll job. figure out how to get the colors to blend more with the Posca pens on, on paper. I need to get, try that paper that the other, um, Artist recommended. Yeah, yeah Jody kind of recommended Yupo. Y U P O is. Yeah. I haven't heard of it, but I'm going to look it up. Yeah, definitely. Get but that, it. but that style, it's it just there's not just one way to do it. You can use them to blend, but that that spot color looks so good. It's well, almost like an, animation style. Yeah. And um, God, good work. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you for these. They're wonderful. You're welcome. Okay, now next we're gonna go to Shireen, then Deborah, then Matthew. And we're gonna go a little faster. Shireen, if you're ready, we're coming over to you. Hi. Hey. Sharing. Well, not me. You. Not a bit of it, but Shireen, you. Not me yet. Yeah, look at, look at that. My brother, other. What's your question? Could I share later? <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> he what? said, could I share later? Play-Doh? Yeah, let's see your Play-Doh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Later. He said, could I share later? Oh, <laughs> share later. I thought I thought you made something out of Play-Doh. I was like, <laughs> I thought you made a dragon out of Play-Doh. All right. Well, we're we're wrapping it up in a couple of minutes, so you look, might not be able to. So yeah. you might as well just show us now. Oh yeah, I like it. That's awesome. It looks like he's got a blue feathers on his head. That's awesome. So it looks Thank like they're having fun. I think that's the most important thing um, that we're all together painting and having fun. Uh, it just, I'm really happy that 
you know, people show up for these and it's made a difference. Uh, it's hard to believe we've been doing these since March and uh, I don't even know how many of them we've done. And uh, we're just gonna be going out of town and uh, taking a little break. And uh, we will be giving away some more pens and at, you know, I'll always be adding stuff to Instagram and YouTube and, and whatnot. Okay, we're gonna hop over and say hi to Deborah. Deborah can show us what she's working on there. <laughs> hey, Deborah, <laughs> surprise. So I'm new <laughs> nice and I'm, this is my first meeting, but I've been trying to paint lids to candles and give them out as gifts little party hostess gifts and it this is my great. i'm having fun good so i can't wait till you start up again next year and um my grandson loves nightmare before christmas so i did <laughs> a whole bunch of them and where are you yeah where are you joining us from in um texas near galveston right on i've been to galveston i surfed galveston once it was great all right yeah <laughs> yeah there's actually been there sometimes yeah yeah it's it a fun, fun place to do it in the channel or in uh, in the gulf no it was it, it was um it, it was in galveston in the in the ocean and um it was in the winter time and they thought All it right. was crazy because nobody was i know there's people that surf there but in the winter time i guess nobody's really surfs and yeah I, I jumped out there and caught a couple waves and they thought I was crazy. There's a, there's a unique team that goes in the Houston ship channel and chases ships and, yeah. and catches their waves. We and have yeah. friends that do that. Yeah. yeah. James Fulbright. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know that guy. Yeah. I, I want to try it one time. Well, thanks yeah. for joining us and we'll be starting these up again. Okay. okay. We're going to go over and say hi to Matthew and Bennett. There we go. Hey. Hi. And Bennett quit. Oh. Right on. Look at that from last week. Yeah, I, was, I just got home, so I figured I'd try to finish it. Yeah, finish. finish I just finished yeah, mine I, earlier today. Tried putting some little feather marks in there. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't figure out what to do with them. Yeah, that's that's good. Just like little that's, feathers or sun rays, because that's the sun kachina. So that's what their they're little sun god. Yeah. And uh, there's lots of those things. Hopefully everybody was able to maybe look up the Hopi Indians and be inspired. Some great art. But it's good. That's what uh, like the, the parties have challenged me doing things I didn't even think of or wanting to do. Yeah. Right. Like, a, like and a, sometimes they come out good. And yeah. that's the whole idea of it is to just like keep the synapses in your brains firing. And the only yeah. way to do that is just get thrown like new ideas, things you hadn't thought about before. And then you make a lot of mistakes and you discover new techniques for things. Yeah. yeah. And build your confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And it's working. Thank you. Thanks. All right. We have a couple more people. I know they keep coming, but Jojo, um, we're going to go to Jojo next. And then after Jojo, let's see, after Jojo, it will be Jim. Okay. So Jojo, here we come. This is fine so far. Whoa, Jojo went big. That is awesome. <laughs> I'm working on the main. Yeah. That is so good. Look at how cool he looks. Yeah. Not it's really scary dope. looking. So just just keep going and just keep having fun. And um, yeah, it's coming out great. Okay. Cool. I also drew this on my trash can with pastas. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is killer. I <laughs> love it. Custom custom trash can. Yeah. yeah. Right on, man. Cool. You can start a business doing that, custom you, trash can. You absolutely could. Yeah. Without a doubt. Um, cool, thank you. All right, yeah. we're going to hop over to Jim next. Okay. What's up, Jim? How you doing? Hey, thanks again for all these paint parties. It's going to be sad to see yeah. you. you guys have a great holiday, but we'll be looking forward to them. Here's mine from last week. Wow. Oh, I love all the little uh, motifs on the, the background. That was beautiful. Maria asked a comment about what I've learned, and probably the best thing is like not to be so rigid. Just let things go, which... I've always airbrushed and done skateboards and stuff, and I'm always measuring stuff and trying to be real accurate. And this, these classes of life just let me go. Loosened you up. Good. And Man, that what a wonderful piece. I mean, I never thought that Hopi Kachina mask would have been so, such a good class, but so many different ones. And it just allowed a lot of opportunity to make it your own. Yeah, it's incredible. And this is what I'm working on for this week is... 
I'm kind of doing waterfalls with the koi fish morphing into a phoenix kind of dragon up here. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of like from this class, it's like the struggles of like trying to let myself go and then releasing it. So hopefully I'll be done with it soon. I'll be able to share it. Right on. Thanks okay. again, guys. It's been awesome. Yeah, you're welcome. We'll see everybody again Thanks. soon. You know what? I almost missed Michael O'Connor. So I want to hop over to Michael. Michael, if you could unmute yourself and we're going to spotlight you. Hi, how you going? Hey, Michael. Oh, I can... this, is an old, this is an old one. Um, I've missed the last couple of parties and stuff, but I think I, I painted this. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is insane. Oh, that's perfect, Michael. So I... I, uh, I started doing the, your classes when I got back. Uh, me and my family went on a trip to Hawaii in March, and that was right before lockdown. And we came home straight into, uh, yeah, two weeks lockdown. Um, and that coincided with your first, your first uh, class that you did. And um, I loved like that. I used your little, remember the little alien, the little alien up in the space? So I, yeah. I learned sort of how to draw the moon and stuff like that. Um, it's all I've taken my best bits of what you what you've taught and just sort of chucked it all on one little piece of MDF board. But um, that is so yeah, good. Was, like yeah. I got the I got the dragon off one of your uh, surfboards that you I just found on Instagram. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a great that one time lapse one's really cool. Yeah. So um, you know, if they're all your they were all your ideas. They were just my favorites, sort of thrown into one big. It, and yeah, how do you feel I like, so. you know, with the Posca pens, did you feel that's just a great way to get your ideas out quickly and learn color and blending and all that? Yeah, 100 percent. You know, it's, a, it's amazing the difference between the first. If you, if, you, if I could find the old thing that I drew in the first lesson, it was absolutely shocking. Yeah. So, yeah, even in the space of like five or six lessons, it made such a big difference to me. Um, and now, yeah, I, I really enjoy all my, like, obviously all my little girls and stuff there at school. But, um, yeah, we all sit down and we draw and, you know, they're colouring in their, their rocks out the backyard and stuff. And they've all got their little um, paintings up in their room. And, yeah, I sit around at night listening to music, painting, you know, till midnight and stuff. So it's uh, it's it's really, it's a, like everyone says, it's a great way just to uh, chill out and take everything off your mind and just think about what's in front of you, which is great. Yeah. So I right. want to thank both of you for hosting these. And um, yeah, I missed a few, but I got on the majority of them and it's been unreal. So yeah. Thanks, man. It, it, it means a lot just knowing that um, it, it made the difference and, you know, the consistency and giving something to look forward to. And I'm just pleased that it, so many people got stuff out of it. Um, you know, it hasn't been easy for us either here. Uh, we've been battling a lot of different things and to – you know, commit to every Wednesday, you know, at first we were doing a Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and uh, it was taking up too much time. So we just went to Wednesdays and it's been extraordinary. I mean, they're all on YouTube. So if you want to rewatch them, they're there. Um, if you want to, you know, turn somebody on to them and we're going to try to figure out a way to do, do some more of them. And, uh, you know, li life has been uh, strange, but you know, it's been a, uh, a blessing to have these classes and be able to get together and get to know everybody. Uh, I think that's been a real uh, big thing for us and know that we're all in this together and, you know, we can create the world that we want to live in. And uh, I think that's a, a thought that we should take away from this, just like we're creating these paintings that uh, we can choose to uh, create positive things in the world. And that's what I'm going to try to do. And um, yeah. Yeah, and I wanted to say, really, if you want something inspiring either for yourself or for the next, for the artist in your life, go to Amazon and order this book. This book, Drew tells his story from like his first painting to, you know, through yeah. his whole career. It's called Painting Surfboards and Chasing Waves. It's really inspiring. Yeah. So thanks um, for the classes, they were amazing. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. And um, please follow us on Brophy Art Academy on Instagram. And we'll announce the winner of today's Posca Paint Pens. And we're going to have tons of giveaways All until the, the end of the year. So um, if you're on Instagram, follow Brophy Art Academy and look for Drew Brophy also. Yeah. 
and tag us in your photos. Yeah, I'm going to miss everybody. So. We are going to miss you, but we're not gone forever. Just thank you we're very just much. Taking a break. Just taking a break. Yeah, we got to go see yeah. some family and check on them. And uh, so, just like everybody else, you know, it's Thanksgiving coming up here in the United States, and then of course Christmas is going to be. And then we have uh, uh, other crazy things happening here. So we're going to take care of that. And then hopefully we come back better and stronger yeah. and uh, maybe more organized. So we'll see you all. See yeah. you all soon. We everybody love you. Everybody you. Everybody Everything's better with you. sound effects. Yeah. And uh, everybody thank Posca. Posca oh, yeah. made and this possible. Posca. Posca made this possible. Absolutely. Yeah. And they're making it possible to give away a lot of goodies between now and Christmas. Yeah. So, all right, everybody. See you later. Ciao.